Why are you here? That's the question that uh, we all ask ourselves. Why are we doing what we're doing? Why are you watching this video? And uh, what were you placed on uh, you know, this earth to do and to complete? And uh, recently, these cards are so loud. Recently I've been thinking just about you know, purpose and mission and what you should be doing on a daily basis to get to where you want to get in life. And for me, I've noticed that um, you know, it's not always set in stone. It's always going to be changing. If you are a man, I highly recommend you read the book uh, Way of the Superior Man. And I remember reading it, and uh, he goes in depth talking about how your purpose changes. It's, it's all seasonal. Your purpose when you're in school, your purpose when you're in college, your purpose when you're at your job, your purpose when you travel, it's always changing, and it's not always set in stone. Um, so, like, for example, your purpose in school um, could be either to get good grades or was to play well um, in, you know, your sport that you played. And then as you got older, your job, your purpose was to perform well, get paid, and make a lot of money. And um, as you get older, you know, your purpose could change. And it's always, you know, a cycle of trying to figure out, you know, who you are as a person and what you're providing to other people. And <clears throat> so today, I've just been, like, detoxing without the phone, without, you know, you know any external things of stimulation besides maybe going on the computer and, like, doing work. But other than that... Um, I've noticed how much not scrolling and not being on your phone, um, not being stimulated by like 500 things at once really calms you down and gives you more clarity. So for me, um, it's just been not, not tough, but more of just like so much going on upstairs at once that I kind of lost touch of what it is I truly want to do and what I have been doing. That's the thing. Money is not something that you should be chasing. Money Money's a tool. I always say this, money's a tool that helps you get to places and do certain things, but it's not the end goal. If, once you realize, like once, for me, once you make like that first big goal of making $10,000, it really just becomes normal at that point. And it's like, all right, I hit the goal, like what's next? So you gotta have, you gotta have more goals and more things that you wanna achieve after you hit that big one because it can either really excite you to go to the next level or it can deflate you and you start becoming stagnant and uh, you're not really you know doing as much as you were before and that's kind of what I fell into is I had my best month last month and um, you know this month has been kind of slow but it fluctuates that's, that's part of the game you gotta be comfortable <clears throat> knowing that it's not you know always gonna be per perfect like I'm not perfect no one's perfect and every situation is not gonna be perfect you just gotta make with what you have and be you authentically and stop having external things be the cause of how you feel. And uh, that's, that's been uh, the motto for this, this month. Like things can change a lot in like a week, in a day, and you just have to react to it, not negatively, but proactively, where you just kind of see it for what it is and move on. Don't attach yourself to it. Don't, um, you know, make it hurt you uh, even deeper. You have to actually take, you know, action and sit down like this and have clarity on what it is that you truly want for the moment because long-term goals are good those are things you should strive for but if you're not happy in the moment with what you have and what you're doing you'll never be fully satisfied and never be you know fulfilled in this life so it's just a realization I've been having recently you know moved out of my hometown this year traveled multiple times made more money than I ever have before and it's weird, I feel like I'm not like at my lowest, but I'm at a point where it's like, it's another low. It's not exactly, you know, what I intended it to be um, as compared to like two years ago when I was like super amped up, excited for everything. So um, just ebbs and flows, you gotta, you know, play the game, you get the cards that you're dealt and you gotta make them work. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much just all I have to say today. If you have goals or things that you wanna achieve, don't have expectations, just do it because you want to do it, because you're excited to do it, because you feel called to do it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the message I have for today. So, some light, some simple. Um, back on the YouTube grind, like I said before. But if uh, you resonate with this, um, definitely subscribe, leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next. And uh, I look forward to, you know, sharing more, of, more content like this in the future. So, thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'm Ian McQueenie. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.